All right, let's shift our attention to the weather and uh, the three things that stand out, warm temperatures, high surf, and a wind advisory, all three of those coming over the next few days. If we take a look at the current numbers out there now, they range from our low 40s in Santa Rosa. That's the cold spot. It's not too bad if that's the coldest number that we've got, and it's in the mid-50s right now for Oakland, our warm location. Let's quickly show you the daytime highs, and since this is going to be kind of a unique day with temperatures as much as 15 to 20 degrees above average, let's get all of the locations in here that we can for the Bay Area so you can pick out your number. There's a lot of similarity here in the South Bay. 72 Palo Alto, 74 for Campbell, 74 uh, as you get into downtown San Jose, low to mid 70s here in the East Bay as well. There's a lot of 73s over here. Walnut Creek, Dublin, Pleasanton, Livermore, Concord, all going right to that same spot. A little bit cooler than that in the far East Bay, but not much. It's low 70s on the water and mid 60s, like if you get near the coast. And then as we work our way farther north, you'll see upper 70s here. Okay, headline number two. The high surf advisory already started, started at 6 a.m., doesn't expire until 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday, breaking waves up to 25 feet. It's a little bit higher than it was yesterday, and we had some pretty impressive pictures coming from yesterday's waves. So today's will be a little higher than that. And you can see it covers the entire coastline there. And now the next issue, headline number three. This is the wind advisory. And this goes into effect starting tonight and doesn't expire until Tuesday. But the real focus for this is going to be throughout the day on Monday. And this includes the entire Bay Area. It, it's not just that it'll be windy in the mountains. And it will be very windy in the mountains. We've already had gusts near 70 in the mountains, by the way. But it's also going to be windy down in the lower elevations where we all live. And you can see that play out here as we watch the future cast. By the time we get into tonight, it's already windy in the mountains of the North Bay. But watch Monday. That's when we start to notice it where we live. That's Monday afternoon. See the streamlines? That is an offshore wind, and it will be felt widely throughout the Bay Area, even though much stronger in the mountains. There is a fire weather concern with this in the mountains. It's not terribly high. There's no red flag warnings, but it's still an issue to be aware of. But the primary factor will be you're going to notice Monday is going to be breezy. And you may not notice it so much today, but on Monday you will. So the third day of this three holiday weekend, plus it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So whatever your plans are, if you've got something that maybe has you outside doing some kind of a socially distanced volunteering activity, it is going to be a bit breezy on Monday. All right, let's get you into the rest of the seven day forecast and you'll see what happens to these temperatures, which are so far above average today again and tomorrow again with a breeziness to go along with it tomorrow. Then you see we start to come back down to average and we really don't get there until Friday when we go all the way back down to the upper 50s. My, what will we do? Daytime highs in the upper 50s after experiencing the upper 70s. Upper 50s is normal. It's right on the mark for where we should be for this time of year. All right, Emily, back over to you.